Zach Williams is on a mission to make people's lives better. While his late father, Robin Williams, did that for millions using comedy, Zach has started a mental wellness company. For this morning's Java with Jamie, he and his wife, Olivia, invited me over not just for coffee, but to try some of their chewable products that they believe offer a mind-body healing connection. Zach Williams and his wife, Olivia June Williams, usually have just a few minutes to get the coffee brewed. We use this Terra Cafe machine and uh, it's kind of like a activated, one touch and done type of situation. On a typical morning, one makes the Americanos while the other takes care of their two kids. Today, they're both taking care of me. I'll do an espresso just to change it okay, up. Cool. How about that? I then follow Zach to the family dining room where we pass pieces that are reminders of his father, actor and comedian Robin Williams, like this wall art and the Mork and Mindy board game on the shelf. All right, so thank you for having Java with Jamie. Cheers. We do a little cheers action. Yeah. As we settle in, Zach goes into detail about the blue bottle beans he's used to make each cup. The richness and freshness of the bean is preserved as it goes through the kind of the roasting process. Are you a curious person? By nature, yes, I'm curious. And if I don't know something, I, I need to kind of dig in and figure out more about it. That curiosity might be genetic. When speaking about his father, Zach says... He was a genuinely curious person. And, uh, you know, the way in which we bonded was very much through delving into science fiction and research, you know, emerging research and science. That diving in is how he and Olivia's company, PYM, or Prepare Your Mind, came to be developed. When Zach lost his dad, he struggled with his own mental health. I was diagnosed with complex post-traumatic stress disorder, generalized anxiety disorder and depression, and my wife, Olivia June, um, Olivia June Williams, <laughs> um, uh, introduced me to nutrition for mental well-being. And it's so important. I see mood chews. Yeah. This is um, something you put in your water. This is a full stack magnesium product with amino cofactors, okay. amino acid cofactors. How does it taste? Try it. Are we cheersing again? Cheers. Okay. Prepare your mind. Oh, well, it's good. Right? It's yeah. very good. Yeah. It's like a really tasty vitamin water. Yeah, so it's it's no added sugar and it's yuzu flavored. At first, Zach says he was skeptical that what happened in his gut could have such an impact on his mind. Then within two days, his anxiety became less. Two weeks later, his depression was easing. How have you been able to get through the grieving process? I think a term that has really resonated with me is post-traumatic growth. Mm. How can we find ways to heal ourselves so we can be of help and support to others? Zach plans to take his business a step further by using Flip, a social and live commerce platform. Think TikTok meets e-commerce. Engage folks in a way where they're actually tracking and understanding the educational component because um, when it comes to talking about things like amino acids or neurotransmitter health, often it requires more than just couple seconds. Zach also believes the more people can be vulnerable about stress, the less stigma there will be around all mental health care issues. There's undue suffering relating to not knowing the full toolkit at hand that you can use to manage mental well-being. I know I feel like your dad would be so proud of you that you've taken something that was hard and his death and turned it into something that can be so positive for other people. With my own perspective, but that's how I'm seeking to continue what, we're, what we like to do in our family, which is be helpful and help people find healing and happiness. Oh, he's so great. I know William says that service is really his path to happiness, which wow. I think a lot of us could learn Relate from, you know, mm -hmm. be grateful, you know, for certain things. He also tells us uh, that he really focuses on his two kids now and that they really drive a lot of what he wants to do in terms oh. of the future and what the future looks like in mental health, especially as we hear so many people struggling with anxiety and depression and mental illness. Um, I also love that uh, he and his wife were very good friends. 
before they ever got married. Oh, that's so, really cool. I love so much of the story. I love the part of the conversation about the things we put into our body, the things we do can impact some of those really serious mental health problems a lot of us deal with. Well, a lot of times we don't really look at our diet as the right. reason behind some of these yeah. things, right? We just, a lot of times people go in, they're not feeling that well, they talk to a therapist, maybe somebody prescribes them, mm -hmm. you know, anti-anxiety or depression medication, when in actuality, sometimes you can just make these little lifestyle changes yeah. that have a big impact. Yeah, exercise and diet can have a big role when it comes to anxiety, depression, all this well, stuff. Well, I know How for me it does. Same. <laughs> Listen, if, I don't, if I'm eating trash and not running for a while, yeah. you will feel my wrath. <laughs> You'll so see wait, me on the couch. How was the mood boost drink? I want some of that. It's actually very good. I yeah. mean, it does. It tastes like a good vitamin water. Okay. I was skeptical. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I know because, you're skeptic you know, like me. That's why I asked. I was like, I know she's going to tell the <laughs> there's truth. There's a lot of these types of products that end up going onto the market. And right. Some of them you don't know what's in it. But yeah. this, this actually, it tasted really good. And the mood of Boost Chews, yeah. there are things now, too, that they're focusing on, um, you know, actually being more focused. Wow. And that, you know, so they're, they're going to keep going with this line and not just focus on just anxiety, depression, but also, you know, people have a lot of problems concentrating. Right. So looking at what can help there. Some so. replacements for traditional medicines. I would try it. I think we should all pop one before the morning show. <laughs> <laughs> for a little experiment. Yeah, because <laughs> we really need a mood boost around here. I was here. about to say, we probably need something to take us down a notch. I loved it, Jamie. He was such Thank an inspiration. All right, guys.